Peter Valley and your YouTube psychic. Card of the day. Readings. Unboxings. Your daily source for things arcane. Hey everyone, 2000 here with today's video, and as you can tell, it is a pickup pile. So, what you'll do is concentrate, figure out which item is calling to you, the comb, the controller, or the cologne, and um, your reading will come up here shortly. Uh, this is our predictions for uh, the month of September, so choose wisely. Okay, and we are the first victim, so yes, I did choose the comb as well. Our first card comes from the Modern Witch Tarot. This is the Strength card reversed. Now, what this is saying is that it's going to be a tough week, the first week of September. You know, it's going to take a lot more strength and courage than what we currently have available. So, we may need to lean on others. So, keep that in mind. The next card, this is from the Witch's Tarot. This is the Nine of Wands reversed. Now, this one says that week two, there's going to be a lack of courage, fear, and paranoia are going to rule. We are not going to be able to lean on others this week, unfortunately, so we're going to have to look within ourselves to find the strength that we require. So, be prepared for that on week two. Now, our third card comes from the Spiral Tarot. This is the uh, Two of Wands. Now, the card itself, you can see that the man has the world pretty much at the palm, in the palm of his hands, yet he's looking away longingly over at the, the city. So, he has success. He has things that are going well and uh, that are going right. The only thing is, is that he's bored and taking for granted everything that he does have by looking at the things he doesn't. So, what this says is that, you know, we need to not get so wrapped up in ourselves that we forget, you know, not to take all of the things we have uh, for granted. Um, and, you know, if that we have like a business venture coming up in the month of September. Uh, we need to jump on it and make sure that uh, we don't take it for granted. Next, this is from the Sacred Circle Tarot. This is the fourth week of September. This is the Three of Swords reversed or Discord. In most cases, this is the Sorrow card. Um, what this one says is that you're going to be the victim of a heartbreak. You know, don't uh, give this person another chance to hurt you. Just cut your losses and move on. So, uh, the fourth week of September, you know, someone's going to break our hearts and or upset us. And, you know, in some cases, it's best to just let things go. Um, you know, people and or situations. So, that's what we have to look forward to our fourth week of September. Next, this is from the Star Seed Oracle deck. This is the Blue Flame. Now, the blue uh, beings are um, foretellers of great healing. Uh, you know, deep-rooted or cellular healing. So, uh, when it comes to our health for the month of September, we're going to start feeling a lot better than we have in the past few months. Which is why this card is late, because I spent a few days in the hospital. Or why this reading is late, because I spent a few days in the hospital. Uh, so, good thing that this is coming up and that, uh, you know, healing is coming to us here shortly. The next card comes from the Animal Spirit Oracle deck, and this is the Cat Spirit. Now, the Cat Spirit, uh, you know, she is calling us to claim our independence and allow for some space between uh, you and others in your life. Only way to grow in your relationship is to have a... Uh, firm grasp of your self-worth or, you know, knowing that you are worth the relationship that you are in. 
Now, this next card, this comes from the uh, Dark Mirror Oracle deck, and this is Forgetting Oneself. Now, this one says that uh, we need to be aware to not lose ourselves in all the drama this month. You know, keep a firm grasp on what's going on around you and use it to your advantage. Now, I don't know about y'all, but I've had pretty much about enough of 2020. So, this is our reading for the month of September. It's not the best, it's not the worst, but it's a thing. Welcome to 2020. <laughs> so, if this was your reading, you will probably be leaving me now. If you are, I just want to let, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my content and... Um, you know, like this video. Uh, if you want to receive your own personal reading, feel free to reach out to me on tarotbytirthalion.tk. Um, that again is tarotbytirthalion.tk. Select the reading you want and pay for it accordingly. Thanks again for watching and have a great day. All right, now, if you chose the controller, this is going to be your reading. Now, um, this first card uh, comes from the Modern Witch Tarot, which is a new deck that I just got. Um, this is the Devil. So what this card says is that, uh, you know, you've been uh, misled and uh, cannot see it yet. Hopefully by the end of the uh, first week of September, you'll be able to see your chains and break free. So keep that in mind, because as you can see, you know, the devil, he has an upside down uh, pentacle or pentagram on his forehead. He has a wand here with fire. He's burning, you know, the earth and or all physical possessions. So. Uh, it's not a good omen. Just keep an eye on that and know that, uh, you know, things are going to be a bit rough. Next card is the Seven of Pentacles, reversed. So, the Seven of Pentacles is saying that, uh, you know, if you look at the card, the gentleman there had worked really hard in his garden and, uh, you know, he is going to be, um, uh, enjoying the fruits of his labors. Now with the card reversed, that means that it's going to be time to start over. So whatever um, <clears throat> uh, venture, you know, business or otherwise you plan on taking uh, the second week of September, you may want to put that off because um, unless you're starting over with a venture. Um, so if you're planning on starting a business, moving to a new apartment, you know, things of that nature, that would be something you would want to go ahead and tackle for that second week. However, if it is something that you are in the middle of, you may want to put it off because of everything going on as far as spiritually. The next card, this is the Tower Reversed. Now, the Tower is one of the cards that bothers me the most. Um, as you know, um, well, in the uh, Spiral Tarot, the Tower is compared to the Tower of Babel. That is the um, tower in the Bible where the uh, people on earth were um, trying to build a tower to reach the heavens so that they could get closer to God. Now, that wasn't a good thing. He saw that as, um, you know, large ego and or, you know, trying to undermine him. So he struck everyone and made them speak different languages and just caused utter and complete chaos. You know, something that they didn't see coming. In this case, with the card reversed, the uh, utter and complete chaos that is coming for the third week of September, you already know is coming. Um, so, you'll want to prepare for all of the issues and or drama that you're going to be experiencing because it's going to be tough. The next card, this is from the Sacred Circle Tarot. This is the Nine of 
discs or game card. Now it's uh, you know it's been a rough month, and however, um, this week prepare to have dividends paid. So everything that you've experienced thus far in the months of September, that fourth week is going to be the one where you're going to pick up the venture that you started before, continue to run with it. It's going to start paying dividends. You know you're going to start seeing more money pouring in more opportunities and uh, you know better growth because those are the things that the discs or pentacles represent. The next card is from our Starseed Oracle deck. This is wait. It's not time yet. Things are being woven. So as I said before uh, you know in the previous cards it's not time. Um, you know, you want to wait because um, with the month of September and or the year 2020, which I'm sure we've all had enough of, um, it's not time to act yet. So, um, you'll want to wait before starting something new, of course, because everything here shows, you know, chaos, misleading, um, starting over. So any new projects you want to put off until next month, um, aside from things that you have uh, already started working on. The next card comes from our Animal Spirit Oracle deck. This is the Beaver Spirit, or laying a solid foundation. Now, what Beaver Spirit has come to warn us about is to check for rotten wood in the foundations of our dreams. Make sure that they are built on solid platforms. So, he's here to warn us that things aren't as they appear. That the uh, wood has soured and or rotted and, uh, you know, everything that we're doing and or building upon is going to come crashing down if we don't address that issue quickly. Now the last card, this is from the Dark Mirror Oracle deck and this is Blinded to Pain. Now this card says that you are going to suffer in silence. Remember to reach out to those uh, around you or that you love and um, you know, get some assistance, let them know that, uh, you know, things aren't as good as they appear. You need some assistance. Or you may find yourself flying solo. So don't take for granted that those people are there and will be there because eventually when you uh, go to reach out, there will be no one there to hold your hand. So don't be blinded to the pain. Make sure you see it and can react to it. Now, if you chose the controller, this was your reading for the month of September, so you will probably be leaving me at this point, if not great. If so, I want to thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my content and like this video. Please feel free to reach out to me on tarotbytirthalion.tk in order to order your own personalized reading. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Now, if you chose that cheapo bottle of cologne, this is going to be your reading. This first card comes from the Modern Witch Tarot. This is the Two of Wands, and what she represents is, um, you know, diligent success, working hard. You know, she's looking good and feeling great. So the first week of September is going to be a really good one. So make sure that you enjoy this while it lasts. The next card, this is from the Witch's Tarot. This is the Three of Wands reversed. Now, the Three of Wands reversed is saying that we need to not look so far ahead. You know, you must stay on top of things or they will get away from you. Because in the card itself, we've got a, a I think, yeah, a gentleman here. Uh, he's watching all of his uh, goods and wares head out on the ships. 
Um, you know, there's an air of success. The wind has caught his cape. Everything's great. With the card reversed, it's the opposite. So, the ships are coming back, bringing all the goods it wasn't able to sell. Um, you know, the cape is coming off because it wasn't fastened tightly enough. Um, instead of success, this is going to be failure. Um, so, be prepared for week two, because you're going to be riding high here from week one, but when week two comes around, it's going to smack you in the face, and it's going to smack you pretty hard. Now, the next card is from the Spiral Tarot, and this is the Ten of Swords reversed, or as I like to call it, the betrayal card. Because as you can see in the picture, the woman is looking off longingly into the sunset and someone has uh, taken upon themselves to stab her in the back ten times with ten different swords. So, <clears throat> with this card reversed, what that means is that uh, you're going to be falling apart. You are going to betray someone that you love and or you're going to be on a path to hurting others. You need to keep an eye out on that and make sure that instead of hurting them, you hold them up and, you know, make them feel better and or good, you know, about themselves, others, and or their situations. Uh, because this isn't a thing that you want to be accused of. Next card is from our Sacred Circle tarot deck, and this is the High Priest. Now what the High Priest is saying about week four is that you need to come back to spirituality. You know, you've tasted success and betrayed people and hurt them. It's time to bring yourself back down to Earth. Um, and, uh, you know, atone for the things that you have done uh, or the things that you haven't done that has caused, you know, damage and or pain or hurt. Um, so make sure that that's something that you look into because you want to make sure that, you know, the things that you've done, you know, they, that, that they don't destroy those people. You know, because when you go to reach for them next time, they won't be there. The next card is from the Starseed Oracle deck. This is Loosen Your Grip. Basically, Coping Mechanisms, Density, Addiction, Let God In. What this card says to me is that, you know, you need to let God in and others to help with your addiction. Um, you can go at it alone and you won't, uh, you shouldn't go at it alone and you don't have to because there are other people around you that will help you know loosen or drop those coping mechanisms um, you know because addiction is something that you can't do on your own you will need a sub support system to help you out and you know those people are there you just have to reach out to them our next card comes from the Animal Spirit Oracle. This is the Groundhog Spirit. And this card says, Time to Let Go. Now, the Groundhog Spirit is here to let you know that it is time to accept the things as they are. There's no sense in trying to hide. You know, come clean and get help. So... The month of September is going to be something of a bit of a challenge for you because you don't see the fact that you're addicted. Um, you know, you're hiding that fact from yourself. However, others around you can see this and they know what's going on. Now, this final card is from the uh, Dark Mirror Oracle Tag. This card is Addiction. Or addicted. Now, if you look at this, addiction, addicted, addiction, addiction. Um, failure, betrayal, pain, hurt. It's a rough month for you and it doesn't look like it's getting any better. This card says that your addiction is coming to the foreground and everyone is going to see it and want to help. However, are you going to be willing to uh, accept this assistance? So, do yourself a favor and, 
you know, meditate on it, look deep within yourself and see, you know, what is your addiction? What do you need to get help with? How can you uh, move forward from here? All right, so this was your reading if you picked the cheap cologne. Um, so, uh, and it's the end of the video, basically. So, thank you very much for watching. Please feel free to uh, comment down below. Um, you know, which reading was your favorite? Which one did you choose? Don't forget to subscribe to my content. Like this video. If you want to reach out and get your own reading, feel free to contact me at tarotbytirthalion.tk. Order your reading and I'll get it immediately and get started as soon as I can. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Thanks for watching today's video. Don't forget to subscribe to my content and like this video. Want more? Feel free to order your own personal reading at www.tarobiterthalian.com Don't forget to click the bell icon so that you're notified every time I upload a video.